This lighting is terrible. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, welcome. My name is Liliana. So glad you clicked on my video today. I am doing another reading vlog. I am really absolutely loving doing reading vlogs. They are literally my favorite thing to film. They're fun. They're exciting. They are fun to edit sometimes. Um, but I don't talk too much. But we're going to go right into it. I just finished a series and it was the good girl's guide to murder series absolutely loved that series so good i recommend it um but i'm going to start a new book love starting a new book but this reading vlog is going to be credence by penelope douglas i have no idea why i decided to do a reading vlog with this but I have read her Devil's Night and absolutely loved Devil's Night. Um, so I want to read another PD book. I haven't read it since, I haven't read a book from PD in such a long time. So I'm really excited. I've heard really mixed signals about this book. So I'm really, really scared. Um, the only thing I know about this book, well, hopefully I'm correct about it, is that it's her step uncle and her step cousin that's all i know so am i a little scared getting into this book absolutely really scared i've heard mixed signals about this being really good about this being really bad about this being uncomfortable so i'm really scared but i don't know I, a lot of people said that about Devil's Night too, and I absolutely love Devil's Night, so maybe I'll absolutely love this too. I don't know, but we're going to start reading right now. So I'm going to choose my highlighters, and then we're going to read a little bit before I have to do a couple more things. the book we have the two highlighters i couldn't find the dark green so i just did this gray for like the mist and then this tannish color it was like the closest orange color i had and a pun oh my gosh yeah i'm gonna start reading this and we're going to i'm excited Hey guys, it is, it's been like a day. I didn't read yesterday. Anyways, I'm on chapter two. I did not read that much, but I only read one chapter. But I'm about to start reading today, right now. And I'm going to listen to Lauren Spencer Smith's new album while I read because I'm obsessed with it. I love it. Also, um, the tour, the tour date that the show that um is at my state sold out so i'm going to kelly to go see it and me and my friend are making a road trip out of it so i'm really really excited because we've been wanting to go on a road trip for some time we didn't know if we wanted to, to go to like what? flagstaff or something but we are going to cali and we're going <laughs> to 
make it fun. I'm so excited. Um, we made it work to where it's affordable for us because um, it is really last minute. Um, and it's like in like a couple weeks. So I think it's like in two weeks or something, three weeks. But I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm gonna start reading. Um, let's see. I want to get to at least chapter five today. I don't know how many chapters this is. This, is this has. Ooh. Ooh, be the bigger person. <laughs> Epilogue. It's just 37 chapters. I counted the epilogue in it. I always count the epilogue because it counts as a chapter. Yeah, so I have 36 chapters left to read. So when I get to like chapter 5 or something, I'm in, really, I'm in a reading mood right now. So I'm probably get far. If not, then it's because I'm tired. But yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to read. I'm going to listen. My sister got me some new headphones, so I'm gonna oh. read <laughs> oh, while listening to Lars Mr. Wright. So I'm really excited. <laughs> afternoon um i'm gonna start reading and um why is there a glare that is really gonna bother me hold on this thing, oh that's not what i meant to do well there's a glare so hopefully that doesn't bother you but i got to chapter five yesterday and the first four chapters have been in the main female's character's point of view and now we get her step uncle's point of view in chapter five um and i'm getting very much it's giving grumpy sunshine right now it's, well she's mm, he's very much like grumpy um and i don't know i just i'm really liking it we saw noah had made his appearance we still have not seen caleb like, Noah's been very helpful, I guess. Like, I don't know. I, I mean, we're not really in there to, like, say a lot, I think. But I'm really enjoying the book and really liking it. Um, Jack? Jake? Don't know why he said Jack. Jake is very... Yeah. I look freaking gross, but... It's whatever. I'm in freaking pain right now i have the worst stomach pains right now in my life um but i hate my hair and ponytails but i don't want it on my face um a little reading update i'm on the last i updated you guys i'm so sorry if i've seemed like so down right now i'm in pain um i'm on chapter seven and i got to read one chapter out of the six chapters I read about, I believe only one was in Jack, Jake's point of view, which is the step uncle. And I really liked reading his point of view. It let me get to like see like the way he thinks of, I think her name is Tear. Tiernan, Tiernan. Uh, so that's how I've been reading it. If I'm wrong, please let me know. But, um, yeah. And then we got to meet Caleb, which we didn't meet Caleb for a while. But he's like, I guess this is a, I don't know. He's like, I don't, I don't. Oh, freak! I did not put my freaking bookmark back. Um, but yeah, we got to meet, we finally got to meet Caleb. We've been knowing 
Noah a little bit. I, to be honest, I really want to read Noah's point of view so freaking bad. Um, because I'm really, really liking Noah. I will say Noah right now is my favorite character. Jake, he is like a good character, I feel like. But just the way he is, I don't like the way like he, he is towards like Noah and Tiernan. I just don't like it. Um... He's a big go grump. Um, and I just, I don't know. There's, I like the way Noah treats her. I don't know. But, yeah. Kayla, we do. I really want to read Kayla's point of view, too. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Because I am in pain. And I just want to read. So, I'm going to read right now. I will probably, oh sorry, I know I probably won't get far because I'm like this close of falling asleep. Um, but I want to read at least chapter 9. I know that's like only two chapters, but I want to get to chapter 9 tonight and then, let's see, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Hey guys, I haven't filmed in a day just because i was in a lot of pain yesterday after i came home from work and then i was in pain all today i'm still am i have big old stomach pains um so yeah <laughs> i've just been kind of laying in bed all day i kind of slept all day which i didn't mean to I was just watching a movie and I put, I took medicine for my stomach pain and then my sister let me use her little piggy uh, heat warmer pad, whatever it's called. And I just was watching my movie, which was Teen Beach Movie 2. I'm really obsessed with Disney movies, so I've been watching a lot of uh, my favorites. I've watched like Descendants 1 to 3. I've watched... Like this past week, I've watched like Descendants 1, 2, 3. I watched um, Camp Rock 1 and 2, and Teen Beach Movie, and Teen Beach Movie 2. And I'm currently watching Lemonade Mouth. Um, but a little reading update is what you guys care about the most. I'm currently reading, still reading Credence. I got a lot way through last night. I just couldn't sleep because the stomach pains were hurtful. And it just wouldn't let me sleep. So I got to chapter 15 last night. And after coming off of work, my thing was to read a couple more chapters. Um, or read some more so that I can finish this book. Because I'm absolutely loving it. But that didn't happen. <laughs> so right now I'm going to read. Um, excuse me. Yeah, I'm going to read. I'm gonna see how much I could read tonight. I, this is like the probably the slowest slow burn I've ever read in my life. I've read a lot of slow burns, but I feel like the slow burns I have read have been like kind of quick. I think, I think like when I think of slow burn, I think of Twisted Hate and like, yeah, that was like a slow burn. But like when we got halfway through, like there was many, many things that was going on with Josh and um Frick, why can't I think of her name? Josh and Jules. I just like you know, it's just there's a lot of already happening. And there's a lot of happening in here. Like the main girl's uncle, they they've had a moment and like I was like, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, something's gonna something's happening, something's happening. But then he stops it, which respect to the man, but like, come on. And then something happened to her and one of her step cousins, Caleb. And I was like, oh, whoa. Like, I was not expecting it. And, like, I feel like what happened between her and her st and Caleb was probably the most spiciest thing that happened so far in this book. And, but the third female, female the third male character had to come in and it was like dude stop like she's not just one of the girls that comes into the house for them to like fuck um 
But yeah. And I don't think anything like spicy has happened between her and Noah yet. Um, there's been like moments where like they stared at each other and stuff like that. But I feel like the one that is most protective and like the most like I feel like the one that has been like moral like I don't know what I'm trying to say. I will say this now. I think Caleb is my favorite so far. Like yeah, he's a freaking grump. But like, he's a cute grump. And like the way he just like ugh there's a scene where like Noah was like egging on this girl when they were, went to go get like hamburgers and stuff he like was egging on this girl and this girl got like really pissed and like grabbed his soda and like splashed it onto him and it went like to her to his, towards the back seat too and Caleb was in the back seat with her and and then yeah and she so she got some on her and on her seat and Caleb picked her up and sat her on his lap because he he didn't want her to go sticky and stuff. And I was just like, that's so mother freaking cute. But yeah, I'm really loving this book. I love PD, so I feel like anything she writes is literally one of my favorite books ever. I would say this isn't like one of my favorites, but it's definitely like a three and a half, four stars right now. I just want something to happen because this slow burn is really like pff, me right now. Smick me, oh, you know, oh. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to continue to read, and we're gonna see if anything has happened, and we're going to see if. The slow burn finally went out. <laughs> pen from getting lost when I'm in the bed <laughs> I literally put them on my shorts so like I tuck them in like this oops so that way I'm not like on my bed going where are they where are they where are they because I used to lose them a lot on my bed like if I have one right here they'll go like underneath these pillows and underneath the yeah it's just a mess but i figured out if i put them in like slide them kind of oopsies kind of in my shorts they never get lost so yeah also i love this book so much okay so the little day well not really a little day but i finished the book and I was not expecting to finish it tonight just because I was a little, I was halfway through it, but this book was so good, and I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I was Team Caleb since he was introduced, just something about him, I was just like, yeah, like, this guy is just gonna be it, and I loved it, it wasn't as spicy as everyone said it was, like, it was, like, spicy but i think i think like a lot of people i don't know i just don't feel like it was as spicy as everyone was saying um but i loved it i gave this book a four stars i really did like it if you don't know what this book is about it's basically about this girl um who um lost both of her parents and goes to Colorado to live with her step-uncle and his two kids and um yeah and just stuff like that um 
but yeah i don't want to give it all that but i'm just gonna say that for you that she just moves in with her step uncle and his two kids noah and caleb and yeah <laughs> it's i will say it's spicy um but i think it's i don't know i don't think it was that spicy like there was only like a few scenes um that i felt like were really really spicy but some of them like there wasn't a lot of spice in here I, like the way people said that it's the spiciest book i thought like this entire book it was probably gonna have spice in it but it wasn't until like halfway into it there was spice but the spice didn't even last that long like it only happened a few chapters and i'm not mad about it but i wish it was a little bit more and i really loved the characters i loved jake i loved noah i loved um caleb i love i think her name is tiernan i don't know how to say it but i loved her also and i absolutely loved caleb i think his character was really 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 good and written written really well and i don't know i just i loved it i don't know what else to say but yeah i will say caleb made me mad a few times but he made up for it the last the last chapter was the best chapter in this book um just loved it i loved anything written by penelope douglas this is like these i read the devil's night um punk 57 and this book i want to read her follow-away series i think that's what it's called is that what it's called hold on i'm trying to find it oh yeah the follow-away series oh and punk or er, birthday girl i want to read those books from her um but i think the next book will either be probably birthday girl that i want to read next because i can't find the follow-away series anywhere but i'm gonna look on barnes and noble or amazon but yeah that is it i hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys love reading vlogs let me know and yeah i'll see you guys next time good whoa the lighting just got weird goodbye mm -hmm.